Is this the year Quebec goes all in and becomes a buyer at the deadline? Could a player or two push them over the edge and make them a contender in these year's playoffs? We shall see. Welcome back to your Quebec Nordiques franchise mode. And we have the start of something special here, ladies and gentlemen. I think we cracked the code on coaching. And we're off to a pretty good start. Looks like our top line's producing the way they should. And we're getting some bottom six scoring, too. Not too many minuses, so we're keeping the puck out of the net and we're putting the puck in the net. It's what you like to see. We're doing a more than, than on the negative. Uh, I took care of the scouting before I started recording, so we should be good. And we can get into simming now. Last time I picked up, yeah, it was the end of October. I just got to remember, February 10th is when the scouting should should be done. So up until then, we're just going to sim it out. We can go week by week here. Oh, well, that's not ideal. Yikes. That's our uh, grinder who's out. That's a bummer. Uh, we'll put the germ in. Alright, go get him, germ. Oh, we got the glitch. It's not going to tell us, is it? Victor Sweeney's back? Okay. Put you back in there. Scratched. Victor Sweeney. So 75. Now it's nice. Beautiful. Now, I hate this glitch. DPHO for a fourth and a fifth. No, thank you. Alright, I'm, I'm stopping this. this. This shit's so stupid. I don't know how the fuck it happens. Well, it looks like the Burnaby Aces are doing pretty damn well. Ryan Paling's leading them in points. Alright, so we're 12-3-1. So I think we had one loss? Two losses? In that stretch? Yeah, two losses, a loss, and an OT loss. So that's nothing to bat your eye at. And, um... Yeah, let's just go another week and see how they do. I really shouldn't change much. Okay, one nothing loss. That's kind of depressing. No, DPH is not getting traded. I think uh, Linus Olmark should be ready to come back. Depending on if we want to keep Tyrone up. We'll see how they're doing. Let's go to edit lines. Because I don't want to have three goalies up necessarily. Always. He's playing pretty damn well. He's ready for backup duty. DiPietro, he's playing pretty well too. So I don't really know where to go with this. I don't know. Uh, how was Olmark? Do Olmark was playing pretty well for us too. I, I don't know. I feel like I should be playing... Uh, Tyrone's on a on a two-way deal, so we could send him back down. I think we do that. We'll put Olmark back in. Hopefully, this doesn't affect the uh, the team's recent performances. Go to roster moves. Send Tyrone back down. Him and Latikainen can continue to uh, hold down the fort in Burnaby. Send down Tyrone. Firm, and then we'll go. I think it should just put him right back in. I could double check though, just to make sure. It did not. Okay, we can get back to simming now. Now that we have Olmark back in. Okay, hopefully we don't get the glitch. <laughs> we'll go another week. We got Washington, big win. Vegas coming up, another 3-1 win. Oh, 4 nothing loss. Let's answer back with a win, and they do, convincingly. And then Dallas, a shootout loss. Okay, the losses are starting to pile up. 
is that due part to um uh what's his name Olmark being back I don't know looks like we're getting pretty decent scoring everywhere can't really complain can we let's see how the goalie should still be pretty, doing pretty damn well yeah I mean what else more could you ask for really a 941 save percentage on a backup goalie. Pretty good. Defenseman. Merkley's playing with. Yeah, the defense playing well. Okay, there, they'll keep the lamp the way it is. Everything looks to be going um, according to plan. Hopefully, we can string together a couple wins. I'd like to see that instead of going back and forth right now. A big win versus Philly. Nice. Let's get another one. Ugh. Okay, we got a point at least. Another point. Good win. Tirana. Oh, what is going on, guys? Okie dokie. We need to change something. Damus Reese. We'll fix that. Put back in um, the germ. Okay. What? What's not? What's not fixed? Everyone's where it's supposed to be. How's this game lying to me? Okay. Did the glitch again, so we're just gonna back out. Burnaby looks to be slowing down for some reason. And a 5 1 loss. Okay, that's not good. I think we gotta fix the lineup. 5 1 win? Okay, it didn't just say a loss. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. I think I'm tripping. Uh, we're. Where is the issues coming from? Is Raquel playing good? He's got 24. Tavares has 31. DeBrusque has 24. Misa. Yeah, Misa hasn't really earned the right to move up. He is Garo. And this third line's kind of struggling. Uh, maybe. George is playing pretty well on that line. I don't really don't want to move Misa down the third fourth line can Schwartz take faceoffs no I'm like should I be expecting more he's got 16 points on 15 minutes the plus minus is equal we could try Misa on this line see if it see if Raquel can get that third line going could even go Garland but Debrusque is eh. yeah Debrusque has 16 goals and they would keep it that way We'll just try Misa out for a week and see if it makes any of a difference. Let's give him three game sample size. Jameson Reese is back. We'll go ahead and that. Reese for the Rube. Substitute in all lines. Good. Okay. Here's our week. Anaheim D. Pietro is out. Until January 27th. Okay, we gotta bring Tyrone back up. Tyrone, Tyrone. We're off to DC, Tyrone. Edit NHL lines. Put Tyrone in. Substitute. Okay. Aces. Are you going there? Okay. Alright. Uh, well, we have the glitch again. So we don't even know what we did there. We have absolutely no clue what just happened. 5-4 loss. A win and a loss. Let's see how Misa did on that line. Let's see what Mr. Michael Misa did. Did he do anything? Three games? What did he put up? Fucking a goal and three assists. That's pretty damn good. Maybe we should keep Misa up there. We'll go another week. See how he does. See if we get adjust adjusted that line. Looks like goal scoring is not an issue. It's keeping the fucking puck out of the net. I'll go another week. We got Seattle. A win. LA. A loss. Ugh. Andrew peeks out now with a concussion. Not ideal. Not ideal. Scratched, we go Victor Mete. 
of the two. We can move Sontag up. He's playing pretty well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we'll just move Sontag up for the time being. Penalty kill. Line three. Put Sontag in there. Line three. Put Sontag in there. Okay. Four on four lines. Four on four line two. Okay, we'll put Sontag in. Okay. Alright. We should be good. Uh, win versus Winnipeg. So we got two wins there. Let's see how Misa did. Mr. Michael Misa. We had seven and ten, so we had two points in in uh three games. He's playing pretty well on that line. It looks like his scoring's picked up. Nothing else really to worry. It's like the it's really not much. Hmm. Bedar, we gotta get you. Yeah, Bedar's gotta do a bit more, I'd say. But I guess really can't complain. We don't have any. We have some players close to point per game, like Tavares is, but he was out for a pretty good minute. Okay, we're in January. Let's give another. Let's give another couple games here, like seven games. DPH is not getting traded. Got Nashville on the schedule. Shootout loss. Shankovic is up. The injury bug is hitting us. He's out till April. Oh boy. That that's till playoffs if we even make it now. We might need to go out and get ourselves a a new um third line center. That's not good. Huh. Not ideal. All right, we got Ottawa, big win, shutout. It's nice to see. Nice. Stringing together a couple wins here now. Ooh, boy. When it rains, it pours. We need to bring up a defenseman now, because I think our defensemen are hurt. We have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we need to call up a defenseman. The injury bug is officially hitting us, ladies and gentlemen. Is anybody, is Kaminsky ready to come up? No. Hmm. It's a bit of a bummer. Max Gildan. He could come up. He's playing pretty damn well. Is it two way? What is he? Yeah, he's a two way defender. It's fine. We'll call him up. He's on a two way contract anyway. There's nothing crazy. Shouldn't hurt us too much. It's our top line guy. Uh. Move him out, and he'll put Gildan. So I'm just doing all lines right there. That's fine. We're going to have to go out and get uh, maybe another depth defenseman, too. Move him up. Okay. All right. Scouting class looks good. And we got the glitch again. Uh, we'll just continue for right now. I hate this glitch. Okay, it looks like we got another shutout. So we don't know a four game win streak and then a loss, so I think the Lions are I think they're playing a bit better. Tavares is absolutely killing it this year. A point out of first place behind the Canucks. So we need to address third line center and I guess another defenseman to beef it up. Okay, so February 10th we'll go to, and then I'll do the scouting. A uh, tough loss. Okay, let's, I don't like losing back-to-back -back games. Garland. Now we're mm, for Marino for a year. What does what does Marino look like? Let's see. We could revisit this if we really want to. Come back for it. Maybe not give up Garland. Because we don't necessarily need a third. We can give up one of those fourths we have. 
We can we can revisit that if he doesn't get traded. Let's get a win versus St. Louis here. Oh, another tough loss. Oh my god. Boris Kaminsky. What's up with the injuries this year? Luckily we have depth, but just sucks. It really does. It's gonna give us a glitch, isn't it? Yeah. Let's say we got an OT loss. And a, okay, the losses are starting to pile. Don't like that after the start of the season we had. Let's go up to the 10th, like I said. And then we'll reevaluate after scouting. <sighs> what is going on this year? We can't stay healthy. Just absolutely can't stay healthy. DPH was ready to come back. That's good, at least. Yikes. Who the fuck even are they? Top six forward, uh, just prospects. Is he good? 65 at 19 with make it snappy. And a two-way D who's 19. They don't even look like they're going to pan out. So why would I give up two roster players when I'm making the same playoff push you are? Makes no sense, Boston. Another tough loss. Kaminsky's ready to come back. Get the Kaminsky back in. Niku. Kaminsky. Yes. Okay, lines are back to normal. Come on, guys. What's up with the losses? Multiple players are eligible to be dressed. We're just... We're just... Having these injuries, man. It's slowing us down, I feel like. Who's ready to come back? Murray's ready to come back. Okay, they move Murray back up. We'll do that. Much I'd love to do that, we're just not going to. Another loss. What is going on in Quebec? Alright, I'm going to do the scouting and then we'll be right back. Now that scouting is done, we have to address the uh, current losing streak. And I think it has to come with fixing the lines because this is just is that six game losing streak, four, four game, five game, whatever it is. It's not good enough. I think we move Raquel back up because he's still producing the same as... As um, Misa on the third line, as he was on the second line. So I think we keep him there. Um, the Brusque is playing fine. God, I guess we keep Garl in there. I was questioning if maybe we should move Tavares up because he's playing so well, or even I don't know. I just feel like top line's doing fine. He's got the Craft top line is 39 points though. Who've got 38, so maybe we... I don't know. I don't know. 38 face-offs. 39. Maybe we could try, like, kind of charge center, but I really don't want to. I think we keep it the way it is. Defensively, we're struggling because we have so many injuries. But... And it comes to goalies. And Tyrone's playing fine. They're just not winning. Like, these Sabres and just... Both their save percentages are really good. So I don't know. I really don't know where where we're getting off on the wrong foot. We could check out how we stack up in the league. Entire league. Goals four per game. Like middle of the pack, maybe? Yeah, middle of the pack. 3.09, that's fine. Goals against is fine. I feel like we're just not getting wins. <laughs> I feel like the ratio is pretty damn good. I think we just gotta, we gotta keep with what it is. Um, Let's go up to the, the deadline. And then we'll figure out which direction we're gonna go. We're still losing. 
the brusque for a second and a third. Multiple Quebec players are eligible to dress. Yeah, which Quebec players? Let's see. Peak is back. So we can take out Mete. Put Peak back in. And Peak was like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, a 6 nothing loss. No. What do we? What's up with the losing streak? Tampa Bay fired their head coach. What is going on? Ricard Raquel is out till March third. Well, it looks like Misa's moving back up. Schwartz will go up here. Oh boy, we have to call up a call up a guy. Wow, the injury bug is really. It's really hurt us this year. Maybe that's due part of the reason. In the system, I had a call. Looks like Kilhoma is ready to start playing. Do we think we go with Kilhoma? He's on a two-way deal. Could he be the, the guy that makes a difference? Or do we let him continue to grow down there? Says he's ready to play. We could test him out and see how he does. Call up Kilhoma. And then we'll, like I said, we'll go back to this. We could leave Schwartz there and put Kilhoma there here. Put him on the third line. Says he's ready for third line. This is like the plan though. So do that. Sooner rather than later, it's that though. But he's nowhere near ready. Could always move Schwartz there, but it says third line, so I'm gonna keep him third line. And Mies is just gonna have to produce on that second line. I could best line the aces, they're fine. Is it defense? Defense is fine, okay. Alright. Let's stop this so it doesn't give us the glitch. It did give us the glitch. Okay, looks like we won back-to-back -back games. That's good. We got Vancouver and Colorado now. Another win. Okay, tough loss. It looks like we're stringing the wins together now. It's got New York up. Another tough loss. Okay, let's just go up to this Toronto game. Come on, let's beat Columbus. You are over the Ross limit. We'll need to send a player down to the AHL affiliate. Okay, so we need to send somebody down. How did Kilhoma do for us? Wow. Okay, so he played really well. I think we keep him up. And we send down Gildan. So he's... That's fine. Okay. We gotta win. Okay, good. We gotta win versus, versus Columbus. So we dropped out a bit, but we're not completely out of. Like, we're still in a playoff spot. Five, six points out of first place. Like I said, this division's kind of bad. So almost everybody beside the Oilers are competing. I just. I don't know. I feel like the team's playing well. It's just we're just not getting the results. I'm, I, I don't. I'm not gonna overreact. Um, let's put in Raquel. We'll take out Coland. Put in Raquel. Kilhoma could play center. <clears throat> He's got 77 faceoffs. Keep Misa up there. Did pretty okay. Did okay. That's your third line now until, um, until Sharon Govich gets back. The Brusco's having a stellar season. Looks fine to me. Okay, everything looks fine. 
I think we need defensive help. I think that's what the the issue is right now. I don't think goal scoring should be a problem for us. But if you look defense, we really don't have like a guy. It's like we're waiting for our guy. But is is Dobson really the answer? I don't know. Like Merkley's having a great year. He's fine down there, but I would rather get like a big name guy. for this top line. You know what I mean? And then we can move Murray down and then have Dersey as our uh, healthy scratch. Or even peak. It doesn't really matter. But it's probably going to be Dersey. It will be our scratch. Let's go to trade players and see... Who exactly? Actually, before I do that, I want to check progress reports and extensions. Just to see the prospects. If we had to trade one, who we trade. John Tavares is declining. It's still, now says top nine forward. So this is probably his last year here. Kiel Home has a lot of natural growth, which is amazing. Kravstov stat growth. Bedard's getting the more natural growth. It's now at 92 overall. Misa, he's got some some natural growth. Sontag's got some stat. Okay, I'm seeing the system. Latikainen, bit of stat growth. Jackson Peterson, our goalie prospect. He's got some pretty good growth. Don Hogan, good. Kaminsky, good. Everything looks like it's going to plan. There was one prospect I was worried about. I think it was this guy. He's a medium elite goalie. But we already have Latikainen, so this could be a target. He's 60 overall, 20. If you look at like these guys, they're all 19 or 20, and they're already 70 plus. So he could be a trade bait target to try to get us that defense when we need. Let's go. We'll just skim the trade block and see if there's any defensemen um, that they're willing to trade. Preferably, let's just go defenseman. Be easier. Anaheim, nobody. Arizona, sort by overall. Nobody. Boston, nobody. Nobody. Uh, this is Condre Miller. One year left. Twenty-seven. It says he'd fit in no lines, so that's not good enough. Slavin, Pesci, nobody. No. Colorado, no. Once I'd love to get Bobby. They have Sam Gerard locked up, though. Right? They have Sam Gerard extended. So maybe Bo B is a... Huh. Interesting. That might be... The... We'll, keep our eye... we'll keep our eye on that. You know they're not willing to trade him. Wierenski. Two years left. All penalty kill lines. What was Bo B? All defensive pairings. We'd have to extend them. Bo B's at like about the same price too. Cam Fowler, no. I want like a 85 plus if we were. Play Minnesota. Uh, no. New Jersey, no. Hmm. Pollock, they're 32, though. For four more years. So I don't necessarily know if that's the direction we're going to go. If I were, I'd go Pellick. He's cheaper, same overall, less years, and he's got X Factors. He's a DFD, though, so I don't know if that would fit on our top line. Lindholm, no. I think he's OFD, yeah. And Shabbat, two-way. Mm, Sandheim is 30. Oh, that contract is ugly. Marino's too low of an overall. We need, like, a game-changer. Tampa Bay, no. Riley, no. Oh, 
Washington. No. Winnipeg. Hmm. Maybe Josh Morrissey? Hmm. <laughs> or Chikrin. It says all defensive pairings. Chikrin signed for four more years at that price. And then if you think about Bo B, he's younger, could grow more. He's got two more years. He'd, he'd probably ask for more. <laughs> I don't know if they'd want to give up Bo B, though. Because besides that, there's nothing nothing else there. And I, is Colorado a seller? We could check. Let's check Colorado, their buyer, and then Arizona, they're a, they're a buyer, but they're a seller. I think we go to Chikrin. He's a bit older, but it's 28, and we need guys that are in their prime now. Um, let's go with that goalie we were looking at. Where is he at? Where's our elite goalie? Why isn't he popping up? Was he not a goalie? Oh, maybe I got the glitch where it shows you the wrong... The wrong players. Okay. Let's go do all, all players. Here we go. Okay. Jace Peterson. Right? Or Jackson Peterson. He's a defenseman. OFD. 20. He's 60. I just... Mm, he's got great value right now. And he's not even signed yet. I think this is the time you would you would deal him. I don't know how much more he grows. Then you have to figure out where where's the rest of the value gonna come from. Where's the rest of the value gonna come from? Larue's not even playing, so we could could ship Larue even though they're not interested, and then throw in like a pick unless that gets it done. Peterson and Larue for Chikrin. Four more years at that price. Can we get like a pick maybe? Like a third? Is that possible? We're offering us in return isn't really interesting. It doesn't meet our block needs. Okay. Maybe a f fifth? Value ice cream just in snuffed of all. Okay, let's just try straight up. Okay, so it's not really there. So we'd have to throw in a pick. We have a bunch of fours though which is good so i'd rather keep edmonton's because they're kind of dookie so we'll go actually we'll go vancouver's less value larue peterson and a fourth for chikrin we have him for four more years i like it quite far off in value okay 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 let's see who skaters are interested in who could we depart I kind of want to keep Dursey, but let me see defenseman just to make sure for, I think we still have Mete. So if we get, um, Chikrin, so two, three, four, five, six. So then we have Dursey and Mete that are odd men out. Okay. So we can go, let's throw in Dursey then. Because he'd be the odd man out. Because that's where Chikrin would take in. <clears throat> so Dursey, LaRue, and Peterson. Would that get it done? So they fill their defensive needs. They get their defense and back. With Dursey still young under contract. They rejected. Okay, so let's try that fourth now. See if that gets it done. Vancouver's four. You think they retain, maybe? See if they retain. Oh, they can't retain anymore. See if they retain a bit. Here, let's rain, retain that much. Did they do it? Okay, it's still not up to snuff. They're really adamant on keeping Chikrin. Do we go two fours? Because we have so many. Kind of didn't want to. I'd rather go like a... Mm. 
Any other scraps we can get rid of? That they like? They like Gildan. We can go Gildan Sturm, Sturm, Sturm. Did that get it done? Okay, so we're probably going to throw in an actual better pick than what <laughs> we're offering, which I'm not completely hating. Do I let the kind is growing? Mm. I really didn't want to. Could we go two fours? Would that be enough? Is that enough for Chikrin? Wow. Okay. This would put us over the edge. Let's try a third for next year. Wow. A third and a fourth? Oh, boy. Are we okay with giving up a second? Are we okay with that? I'd, I'd give up the second from next year because we'll probably be competing even more. Peterson, LaRue, Dursey, and a second for Chikrin. He's on a great contract. He's still young. I think this would be as far as I'd go. The deal would work for Arizona, but in our current situation, we're not comfortable retaining salary. There. Okay, so I think the second would work. They just don't want to retain salary. So is it possible we give up maybe a third instead? Okay, let's try like a third and a fifth. Four? Okay, third and a fourth. Okay, cool. So we keep our second. I like that deal. That is A-OK -okay with me. Who needs to be sent down? I think it's a defenseman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Edit lines. Now we can put Chikrin right there. And sooner we'd want Cedric, Frederick Sontag playing up there with him. But it doesn't look like Sontag likes that first line too much. That's weird. I think that's a, I don't think that's true. I think that's just the glitch. Okay. Best line's them. Okay, let's get out of here. Sometimes there's a bunch of glitches in this game, and it'll tell you that it's a minus, but it's really not. Just because of a certain screen you're in. Because there's no way that's a minus. Yeah, exactly. That would be... This is, this is ideal what we'd want. But we're not ready for that. So Dobson goes up there. Murray. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep like this. Okay, it's perfect for me. Cool. Chikrin, Dobson now. Love it. And we want... Yeah, they're on the right sides. We want them opposite. Let's go to power play. We want Chikrin on that second power play. Over Sontag now. Okay. And put Chikrin in. Go to PK. Chikrin. Chikrin. Peak. Okay. Alright. Good. I'll say. Um. I want to see. Uh, did you? We. Oh, the injuries. The injuries. That's right. When Sharon goes. Okay, the 22nd. Okay, 22nd, herniated disc. Where is the 22nd? To see if we really do need to make a move. 
for that third line center. Looked like Kiel Homa was doing pretty damn good. Yeah, so it's speaking of playoffs. Hmm. Are these lines good enough to get us to the playoffs? Are they good enough? I think so. I very well think so. Okay. Alright. Um, I guess we just keep on simming. We'll go past the deadline. We lost to Toronto. Keep current trade block. We're going to continue to sim. We're not making any more deals. We made our deal. The blockbuster one for Chikrin. Sean Corelli, no thank you. All right, now we can start to sim. We'll go a week, see how we do. Come on, guys. We got to start stringing together some wins. Nice, good start from the trade deadline. All right, tough loss. Good win, good win. Go great, great stretch of games. Every game besides after a trade deadline, we've given up, what, two or less. So the defense looks like it's going to be better. This is just an offensive blunder. I don't think that's going to happen very often. Let's go another week here. We got Seattle. They're in a tight race. Okay. We lost 4-3. Ugh. Come on, guys. What are we doing? Okay. Pulled groin out till March 31st. For crab stuff. Uh, I guess we moved DeBrusque up, Garland up, and then Scratched, we put in Coland. Yeah, I think we do that for now, until he's back. Just for now. Alright, good win. Alright, back to back wins. That's good. Are we in a playoff spot? We're currently in a playoff spot just by a point. Kravstov should be back. They said, didn't they say they said 22nd? Or am I tripping? I might be tripping. The 31st of March, okay. 31st of March. We can continue to go. Very first of March. So he should be back for the Chicago game fully healthy. Big game versus Arizona. All right, Kraft stops back. We're not going to play him. I don't think he's ready. Good win. Gildan, Sorni. Okay, that's, that's Burnaby. This line's Burnaby. Okay, tough loss. Come on, guys. Let's string together some wins. Ugh. All right, Kraft stops should be ready. We're still in a playoff spot by a point. By a singular point. JT's doing JT things. So we're going to go like this. Uh, what was it? Power play. Here. Craft stuff. And then craft stuff goes back here. Bang, bang. Kill home is doing just fine. He's keeping his pace. They're doing about the same, so I don't really think it makes a difference at that point. And the only real injury we have is Sharon Govich, who's still out. So we are up a point in the playoff spot. I'd say if we win four, we're definitely in. But you never really know. So we'll, we'll send these first four. We need some wins. Go win. Way to start off. Sharon Govich is ready to come back. Okay, go to roster moves. We got to send down... Uh, I guess we could send down Goodrow. Yeah, Barkley. Yeah, nobody's going to take him. But on that contract, nobody's taking him. All 
And now we'll put in Sharon Govich right here. And I guess Sharon Govich could play fourth line, really. Fourth line center now since Kiel Holm is absolutely killing it up there. Yeah, I see no reason to take him out. He's playing really well. We gotta fix the penalty kill, it says. Okay, we just put Sharon Govich in there. Okay. Looks good to me. Hopefully Sharon Govich doesn't um, absolutely murder his spleen again, whatever the fuck it was. Okay, what are we doing? Oh my god, we're out of a playoff spot. Oh boy. We need the Ducks to lose outright. Oh boy. So, we need the Ducks to lose and the Blues. The Blues are in. Because it's top three. So, it's just up to the Ducks then. Oh, wait. Am I in a playoff spot? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're in a playoff spot. We just have to win. I think. We just didn't clinch yet. Okay. We're going to real-time sim this one, because now I'm really nervous. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, let's just beat the Bruins. Easier said than done. Well, I don't know what's up with the losing, but... Uh, fuck, fuck, do I know? Alright. First period. That one on Panarin, on Hopkins. Second period. Oh, boy. Bedard gets one, but Kane and Panarin are playing together on the Bruins. Okay. Let's real-time sim this. See if we can get back into this. Oh boy, not looking too swell. Come on, boys. Shots are on. Nothing's doing. Are we going to lose this game 3-1? Do we have any late game heroics? We do. Jaden Schwartz gets us one. Oh my god, John Tavares gets us a second. We're tied up. Are we going OT? Alright, we got a point. So we can uh, hop on, on into this one. Alright, we're here in Boston. We need. We got the point we needed, I think. We lose the faceoff. McAvoy comes up. Uh, I don't know, they gotta fix this sim engine. Oh, okay, maybe not. They actually passed the puck. Still have Tyrone Hopkins in that. Easy save for him. A raucous crowd in Boston. Ready for a deep playoff run. They have some absolute studs on their team. Panarin and Kane. Just like the recent uh, trade that just happened in the league. He's going to the Rangers and this he's with the Bruins. Good win by Bedard to Merkley. Merkley spins out of it, gets it to Gonchar. Let's see a Michigan. Let's see a guy do a Michigan. Okay. He'll... Oh, five hole. Saved by Swayman. Nothing doing there. Bedard in the face-off zone. This would be a huge offensive zone draw, but they lose it. McAvoy has it. Goes behind his net. Out to Panarin. Panarin up the left side boards. Shoots. Nothing doing. Bedard gets the puck. A two on two. Passes to Gonchar. Gonchar gets around one. Gets it to back to Bedard. Bedard with the shot. Blocked by Domi. Domi up with Panarin. It's an interesting line. Domi, Panarin, and McAvoy in three on three. Panarin takes a shot. Blocked. Saved. Beautiful vision by uh, Tyrone Hopkins. Looks like we're passing pretty well in this game. All right, big defensive zone draw here. You need possession, Connor. Come on, Connor. Big win. Okay, out to Merkley. Merkley spins, gets it to Gonchar. Gonchar skating up the middle, out to Bedard. Bedard coming down the right side. He's getting space. He shoots. Nothing doing. Domi with the rebound. He's now skating up with the puck. Shimmies his way in at the top of the circle. Shoots. Save Tyrone Hopkins. Demi Panarin, 70 points on the season. Congrats to him on that <laughs> successful year, I guess you'd say. I guess it's a down year for him. Bedard's absolutely killing the Bruins on the faceoff dot. 
Gonchar comes up the middle, shimmies out to the right, cuts back in, drops it to Bedard. Ew, nasty glo- Jeremy Swayman looks to be on in the early in this uh, overtime period. Do they ever change lines? I don't know. Who knows? Big win here, Bedard. Nice. Gets it to Merkley. Merkley shoots. Blocked by Bedard. Bedard with another shot. Big save by Swayman. Finn Aaron going up the left side now. Around the net. Oh, kicks it out to McAvoy with a lot of space. Save Tyrone. Oh, my God. Tyrone, what are we doing? You got a man right in front of you. And you give the puck up. And Artemi Panarin finishes the hat trick. Tough loss in Beantown. Alright. Now we can see if we made the playoffs. I'm pretty sure we did. Or did not? We didn't make the playoffs? How? How do we not make the playoffs? There's no way. You're kidding me. 92 points. So that's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh my god. We didn't make the playoffs. Colorado made it because their division's terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. A team with 86 points made it over us. Are you kidding me? We didn't make the playoffs. We were the sixth best team and didn't make the playoffs. We just got absolutely shafted. We were the 14th best team in Demick to play. Was, neither did Ottawa. Look at this. The 20th, 20th and 21st best teams made the playoffs. They need to fix the format. That's terrible. I'm sorry. That's just not good enough. Season. I just, it's, the stats aren't good enough. I guess it's not good enough. We had... Four 20 goal scores, almost almost three 30 goal scores, almost four technically. I don't even think they played all that bad. The team wasn't even that bad. Kielhoma played amazing for us while he was here. Let's check out goaltending. The goalies were all great. What was it? What's the, what's the issue? 9-10 save percentage. All of them are great, great, great goalie stats. I don't know. I don't know. And we're not probably not going to get a top draft pick. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. That's um, quite a gut-wrenching end of the season. Especially to go out that way with how well we played early on and kind of the choke and then... The current playoff format absolutely rails us. All right, Quebec. We have to go back to the lab and figure out what went wrong. Until then, good night, Quebec.